Dustin Sargent saw something strange in Okanagan Lake while he was enjoying his morning coffee, so he and his daughter got in his boat to investigate. We had no idea what we were even looking for when we went out there, so... A moose going for a swim makes sense on a hot day, but this one was in the middle of Okanagan Lake. You gonna write about this in your journal at school today? Yes. It seemed as though it was trying, just going from one side of the lake to the other, without it pretty effortlessly. This is a, an alien introduced species. This is a gray squirrel. We caught up to a wildlife expert, Pete Wise, while he was trapping invasive squirrels. He says moose are even more comfortable in the water than you might think. The big thing about the moose, of course, is wearing that hair coat. It basically has his own life jacket. Okay, and he's extremely buoyant. He's just putting effort into swimming. He doesn't take any effort for him to stay afloat. They followed the animal to near the far shore of the lake and eventually had to return home to get to work and school, but that moose had more swimming to do. A few hours later, my wife uh, phoned and said the moose had followed us back and came right on, on shore in front of our house. It's no legend, but the image of that moose cutting through the waves is reminiscent of one. If you take a look at what our cartoon caricatures of the Ogopogo and some of those stills of the moose with his head out, it's pretty uh, spot on. Kent Mulgat, CTV News, Kelowna. Okay, when I was a kid, uh, yeah. I was obsessed with the Ogopogo. Yeah. So, can you imagine other people like me who are obsessed seeing that moose? Well, that would have been the first thing they would have thought. It was, it's got to be Ogopogo. Darn, it's a moose. But it ended up being a... <laughs> Rocky and Bullwinkle story. Pretty well. Yeah. yeah. Cute story. Know.